What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine where we're gonna be fighting with some orcs. Hold on, let me bolt or something really fast and also get my sound adjusted because I'm deafening myself with the sound of my own bolter. You know what? This thing I want you. I want you and I'm gonna have you so we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. In fact, we're just gonna rip it off of its stand and now I have a plasma gun which this probably doesn't leave those Imperial Guards with many options but for us I think we're gonna be alright. They wanted to send me off in a ridiculous direction in the previous episode. Let's do a little bit of a recap now that I'm off my little Booty Warrior tangent. If you've never seen the Booty Warrior, the Booty Warrior is the most horrifying individual that has ever been in an American prison. Like, he's scary. They did a Boondocks episode about him. But anyways, as I was saying, that doesn't leave that Imperial Guard with much of an option. But they were probably going to die in, like, the next skirmish anyways when, like, an accidental grenade gets dropped or anything of that nature. So in the previous episode, we had found this power source thing. I would show it to you, but it's on my belt, and I can't see my own belt right now. I have dicky Doo Syndrome. That's where your belly doesn't stick out more than your dicky Doo. But anyways, <laughs> southernisms aside... Well, don't chuck- I wanted that, man. He's like, I don't care. For the Emperor, you don't get to have this anymore. Well, I guess I'll take the jump pack and the hammer. Oh yes, the mighty Thunder Hammer is the rarest of Space Marine melee weapons. Each blow discharges a powerful blast from the hammer's dedicated power field. Ranged weapons are limited to pistol and bolter when wielding the thunder hammer. Fantastic. I'm pretty happy with this situation. I'll take a thunder hammer. I don't mind that at all. Ooh, that thing's got a little bit of heft to it. Alright, I wonder how much that actually... It's pretty much just like a brick on a stick. But anyways, we actually have upward mobility now, so we can jump around a tad, and we can also use slow-mo very, very liberally. Which is how you know you're a badass. I mean, anytime you're in real life and things start going in slow motion, either you're way, way too high, or B, you've just become a badass and you, the director hasn't told you yet. Where is the enemy at? I feel like the second I jump down in here, something terrible is going to happen to me. And I don't have a full fury meter either. Check my corners right there just to make sure that I don't get docked. And I appear to be still in one... Oh, there's some enemies right there. Let's see what we can... How big a- Ooh, yes! And Thunder Hammer Fatality. You just smacked him in the gut and then that's it, man. That was all that they had left. Oh, and you thought you were going to hit me, Orky boy. But no, you were not. I'm going to fly up into the sky and come down on you like a stick on a brick. Or a brick on a stick. I got it backwards. I think if I was holding the brick end of this and hitting them with the stick part, I don't feel like that would do as much damage. Like, we might have to augment it with some kind of damage-dealing thingamaduber. Technical term. I always break out the technical engineering terms when I have to. Now then, that's an orcish dropship. Look at that master. <laughs> it's essentially just like a meteorite with a bunch of, like, shit stuck to it. <laughs> and it works because they think it works. That's the thing you always have to keep in mind. What are you doing, Captain? Keep at it. The Greenskins are swarming your way, leaving our path open. Well, I'll continue at it then. To Lord Sharp. The weapon is working. Integrating the power source makes this weapon far more devastating to the alien biology than I'd envisioned. My lord, I believe that this weapon, this psychic scourge, could end the alien threat against the Imperium for all time. It doesn't seem, I mean, for Space Marines, it, I feel sort of as though that's limiting my... You, sir, are no longer going to do that, and then I'm going to beat you to death with a fatality by hitting you right in your Orc Nuts, and then there we are. So the Orc Nuts are now eliminated. The big problem that I always run into with the jetpack, and this is just for me playing online with other people, is that I always feel like the jetpack leaves you very, very exposed after you land, so if you don't absolutely 100% wipe out everything, you are hosed. We've got a weird boy over here. I'm gonna put a couple hammer smacks on him, and hopefully hammer smacks, that sounds like a delicious, like, you know the, oh my, something bad was happening, there was lots of colors and it made me scared. Anytime I see lots of chromatic things, I start to get very, very nervous, which, <laughs> very, very nervous, very, very nervous, which, well, did you believe that my Petrology class was probably somewhat unnerving? But anyways, we're now being shot at again. I'm going to put a couple rounds out there. Looks like we've got rocket launcher troops. There's like all kinds of bad things happening to us right now. And so I really feel like we need to get in on that. And instead of a drop stomp right there, we did like kind of a hammer blow thing where we dropped the hammer on his forehead. And that's cool. That seems like a pretty good place to drop the hammer on an orc. Then again, I was talking about hammer smacks. I was going to say hammer smacks, you know the serial... They're called Honey Smacks. We have them in the U.S. anyways. But as I was saying, 
Hammer Smack sounds like a dwarvish cereal that's basically just the dwarvish version of Smacks. Did I just stab him with his own spear? I'm not even sure what just happened right there. In either case, he's no longer a threat. That guy's just given up. His brain has gone completely and totally flat when it comes to fuel. He's flatlining it. He's totally in the red right now. And he just decided to stand there and die. Not giving me any type of problem. That's cool. Might have to clean my turtleneck again if there's any more trouble. Now then, I think we have to go... Oh, we're going to go over here. Well, I'm going to take a look around the area just to make sure that I can find some bullets. We've got extra ammo right there that we didn't necessarily need. But we're going to be leaving the area, so I, thought, I don't think it's going to kind of cost us anything to use that a little bit early. There's no... Yeah, I don't see any of the little sound bites around here, so maybe... Up in this little... What is this? I think that's just a stairway coming up from down below. That's where I came from. We're totally locked and loaded, so I don't see anything else of interest around here unless it's down this hallway. I'll take one last look because I am a completionist. I, deep down, I just can't help it. Something inside of me won't let me walk away from hidden stuff. This just looks like your generic Doom-era monster closet where all the enemies come out of, so I doubt there's anything over here. I'm going to loot that just so the orcs can't have it. I'm going to deny it to them because I'm feeling particularly selfish today. I don't know. Something about being in a space marine suit and hanging out with Imperial Guards makes me feel very, very selfish. Maybe it's the Mary Sue nature of my own existence. I don't really have any kind of like prognosis for you there. I simply just kind of have to run with it. I'm going to land on this. What I notice is this game always has like a lot of ledges and things you can land on if you're careful. And you can totally clip out the game. Like they weren't very careful about putting in clipping planes. So that you can kind of just perch up on these little sniper areas. I noticed that a lot in the multiplayer mode back when I was playing it consistently. Nowadays there's just not enough people playing it anymore. I would like to continue. I don't even think I unlocked everything. I got up to maybe level 20 or 30 before I gave it on up. Because I really felt like the queue times were enormous. They were pretty bad. Well, that wasn't where I told you to do that at, but it's okay. We'll stick with what we had before. We're always happy to have things that we'd already had. It's losing the things that you had already had that makes me feel very, very sad. It makes me shed giant space marini tears. That way is looking a little bit hectic. There's a fist over there, which leads me to believe I may get punched if I go over in that vicinity. That's typically when I see something with the symbol of a fist. You've got to assume that you're probably going to catch some kind of knuckle sandwich upside your dome. Encrypt recording. Authorization Drogon, Inquisitor Ordo Xenos. I have arrived on Gryar to begin my research. This work could change the course of history. I would be a fool to leave that realm. The Imperium has not again the good I have done. Remains here I will speak the truth that could damn me. Let's see what's going on in here. I hear a whole lot of noise. Who are they firing at? Is that... Those look like... I see las guns being fired. They're definitely flashlights being used. So let's get... Really? I hit the ceiling. Damn it! My old nemesis from Mario. The ceiling. I'm gonna try and stay in the air as much as possible just to avoid that knob. And then... Oh, really? The drop stomp kills him with one hit. Interesting. Oh, and you don't have to do the contended... So right there... Alright, so I'm getting hit far too much. Let's go ahead and I'm going to trigger Fury Mode. And then I'm going to try and give myself a wee bit of color. Or a wee bit of cover here. And I know that sort of goes against the dictates of the Codex Astatis. And wow, my melee is way off today. I don't know if I'm feeling dizzy or whether I'm just not... Oh, that's why. Got this rocket launcher dude over here who's really kind of just pestering me. I'm going to take him out because we're still at full... Oh, there's another one and I got out of the way just in time. I stopped to fight the knob because I always feel like they're a priority target. But at the same time, every time you stop to fight a knob, they try and shoot you with something else. Very sneaky little gits. Very, very sneaky. Did I get everybody? No, there's still one over here. He's being flashlighted, which basically means he's never going to die. My lord, we owe you our lives. I am an instrument of the Emperor's will, Trooper. Now indicate to me the nearest concentration of orcs. Aye, my lord. Master's Plaza is just past this hab complex. It is swarming with the beasts. Not for God. I can't quite... Can I make it? I want to get up in here. I want to hang out with the... Oh, come on. Let me hang out with the Imperial Guard. We're going to have some brewskis. Like, high-five each other. Do guy stuff. Grunt. All that fun stuff. You know, things that dudes do. But it appears as though they're not going to let me hang out with the little bros up there. So maybe we'll head out this way and see what's going on in the Marsis Plaza. We used up all of our fury, so in the next little bit, we want to be careful about the way we advance ourselves. Make we are within sight of the Imperial Guard Bastion. We 
very much want to make sure that any attacks that we're triggering are ones that are well aimed and that aren't leaving us incredibly exposed. We're able to one shot the normal slugger boys now, which is pretty sweet. A little bit of ammunition over here. Let me. I'm going to use a little bit of my bulletry because I do feel as though we haven't been shooting anything in this episode. And honestly, we've got a power hammer. We got a thunder hammer, which is pretty much like the coolest weapon ever in the history of the Imperium. And so it makes sense that we're not doing a lot of shooting, but I am leaving a ton of ammunition behind. Hey, come on now, guys. Come on, I'm trying to explain my motives in murdering all of you. But we don't care. You could probably get away with popping a few of these guys. Ah, there he is. I had the distinct feeling that rockets were incoming. I'm gonna drop an explosive blast right there. We don't need the hell, so I'm not gonna fatality anybody. God, he's thick. He's definitely got a chin on him. And so I'll do a little bit. I don't know if that would be like a jetpack gainer, what I did right there. I don't really... You're kind of going back to dive forward. It's kind of an interesting thing. Oh, yeah, you do fatality him. That's pretty sweet. I can never get that to trigger properly. You guys had told me that you could kill off the grots by <laughs> fatalitying them to get a little bit of health back. But I just can't aim it properly. Something about aiming in this game with a mouse. I do have an Xbox controller that I could use. But the thing is, I'd be swapping like one proficiency for another. So essentially, I can aim really well if I'm not using an Xbox controller. And then I can do melee really well if I am using an Xbox controller. So either way, I'm going to suck at something. And I feel like right now I would rather be better at shooting. A couple more enemies still coming in. This place must just be flooded. Ah, there he is again. I knew he was around here somewhere. We're going to pick him up and we're going to drop that hammer. Oh, never mind. We did a drop stomp. We used one of our old friends. Our old calling cards there. It's one of the ones we haven't seen in a little while. Like maybe 20 minutes or so. But at the same time, it is one that we've had available since probably the beginning of the game. I remember drop stopping somebody fairly early on in our quest. Very early. I don't know if he's summoning them right there. Maybe he is. Maybe I'll put some rounds on him. Just to kind of play around with the idea. I don't really know what they're shooting at either. But I believe he's spawning them. So I'm going to hang back in my little alcove here. Because it does collect all of the orcs to the point where I can just kind of smush down on them boot style medium mode got another knob coming in I'm not even going to mince bullets with him I'm just going to drop stomp him real fast we're missing a little bit of health so I don't feel like there's any problem taking him out the old manual way no point really flying automatic right now and I do recall that this weapon was pretty overpowered when you played it online this was one of the primary configurations that I saw a lot of the assault guys playing, just using the thunder hammer. I saw a few people. I never saw anybody using the axe. It was mostly, oh uh, yeah, it was mostly the thunder hammer. Where is the rest of this coming from? We got to get rid of this weird boy out here. There he is. And hopefully that'll do a little bit of damage. I mean, he's got some kind of energy shield or something around him that's making it difficult for me to level him. But. I think we've got him now. Let's go ahead and use his own staff against him. Yeah, we like levitated his own staff and used it to impale him in the face. And again, I gotta, I, I've gotta suppose you just gotta make t like use of the tools that you're given. That's part of being one of the emperor's chosen. I'm expecting somebody to calm in right now, and I don't hear it, so... Every time I get done with any type of engagement, I always feel like the game is going to cut me off and be like, Storyline time, gather around, children, for the story of the Emperor's Chosen. Let's have a look around and see if we can't locate any other voice recorders. Take just a minute. So that's going to be the second of the dropships that we've taken out, the Orc Hives, that they were calling them. Is this ammunition? Oh, good. We were a little bit low on bolter ammunition, so that works out for me. Over there, it appears as though we've got grenades or something of that nature. I don't see any little perches up top. They're not trying to be creative with where they hide the voice recorders a lot of the time. They just kind of throw them around. Although there is a little door up there. Let's go check that little door and see if maybe there's something in there. Little door, what secrets do you hide? It's a monster closet. A lovely little monster closet with no bathroom. So I'm sure it's just filled with monster refuse. My refuse of a monstrous nature. Let's go forward and continue on to our Imperial Fist and see if we can find a locality where there's a little bit less shooting going on. I guess that's not our job. Our job is to find the area where the shooting is going on. Finding the areas where there's no shooting going on is kind of what Grotz do. Out of fuel. <laughs> 
How convenient for storyline purposes. <laughs> Just run out. This is Primus Command. Walks inside the perimeter. Move to secondary defense positions and hold the line. Alright, so they've got a lot of howitzers and things left over here. I always call them by like their World War One, World War Two names. I can never keep the Imperial Guard name straight. There's a Valkyrie right there, I know what that's called. It's probably Lehman Russ is around here somewhere too. Sebastian Primus, Captain. Sergeant Sedonis briefed me about the Inquisitor and his doomsday weapon. He said you require air transport to the Calchas facility. Your Valkyries are the fastest way to reach it, and we have no time to spare. Your men are already on board their Valkyrie, and the squadron's ready for liftoff. We'll get you to Calchas with all speed. It's time the Imperial Guard brought the fight to the Orcs. That's cool. I respect that. You've got to have balls of steel to be part of the Imperial Guard. Like, really, the only standard issue things you need to be in the Imperial... Even if you're a female, she could have fee balls right now. That's... that's You earn them once you're in the Imperial Guard, believe me. So there's, like, a couple things. They give you... This is Lieutenant Mira aboard Valkyrie 1. Look sharp. All cries inbound. Captain Titus, I need a gunner to man the heavy bolter. Oh, my. Oh god, they're like right in front of me. Okay, so apparently we're in like one of those little shooty missions. They had one of these at the beginning of Spec Ops. Can I shoot that down? I want to shoot that. Yeah. Let me shoot you. Stop going by so fast. Apparently our own bullets don't really affect them. Like we were just encouraged to do friendly fire right there. And that's fine. Anytime I don't have to worry about hitting my own men, I'm usually pretty happy with the situation. Let's see if I can just paint these guys. Oh my! That's an explosion in close proximity to my facial region. I don't like it when there's something exploding near my face. Reminds me too much of that July 4th when I was 8 years old. And that's why I can't grow hair between my lips. Or <laughs> that hair. You know that little spot like the nasal... I forget what it's called. It's basically the snot trough, but anyways, you know that little divot in between your nose? I can't grow hair there. I talked about this in another LP, but apparently I looked it up because it upsets me that much that I can't grow hair right there. My mustache is always wanting. I can never have like a beautiful 70s mustache. Do I have to save my own men right here, or can I just let them die? Short ship coming up. Oh dear. They're right behind. Okay, I can handle that. We still have infinite bullets, so I don't mind. Need to let my gun cool down. I'm using far too much heat trying to get this thing leveled. Can I shoot the turret, or what's the goal here? I don't really know what my overall skill set is here that I'm trying to apply. I'm assuming I'm trying to shoot the guys out of the little gunneries. Like trying to get them up off those little ramparts. God, that guy has a lot of chop to him. Sinking into the cockpit. Coming, Lieutenant. Valkyrie 2 is down. I require immediate transport. We're on approach, Captain. I apparently don't have my Thunder Hammer anymore either. Let me go ahead and dive out of the center of that melee. Because I would prefer to keep axes out of my stern. Like, I really, I really don't want to have, like, my chest just imbued with a giant iron nastiness. And you, I'm going to execute because I need health. Let's reload the guns. I'm going to get myself the stalker bolter. No, I have a melted gun. Let's use the melted gun for a bit. Because we are going to have enemies gathered up into close. That was not a hit right there. That was absolutely not a hit. I'm going to blast them back. Yeah, buddy. Turn you all into cinders because that's how we do it. I have rockets incoming. Which leads me to believe... Oh, dear. Okay. He's got a glowing head, so I don't know if he's just been, like, slurping radioactive goo or what he's been doing. But his... It's a cool power. I mean, if I could make my head glow, 
I feel like I'd be more popular at the club. I mean, if I could make any of my heads glow, I feel like I'd be more popular at the club. I mean, it's one of those novelty things. Like, you really just gotta kind of, like, rely on the skill set that you have. Like, if you can do it, get what you can from it. I don't blame you. Ah, hold still. There we go. Oh my! What's up, gentlemen? Let's get in here and give him a little bit of fist to the face love. Probably gonna need some health coming up pretty soon. If they give me a moment. And got him straight off the top. All you saw is Viscera flying every Viscera. Which sounds almost like mascara made from blood. It's the Viscera of our efforts. We're almost out of ammunition right there. So let's get going with the fatalities on these garages. These are the worst day ever. Just overall left hooks, left and right. Well, I guess left hooks just from the left. Not left and right. You can't... I, it'd be tough to do a left hook from the right. I mean, that's a, that's an interesting skill set. If you can make it... I mean, I suppose if you were like a mutant and you had... Because we are in the world of Warhammer 40k, so we do have people that are like touched by heresy and have like extra bodily limbs and things. So I suppose it's possible that you could have a left arm on the right side of your body, but that's the only way you could drop the left hook from the left and right side. And I guess in that case it would only be from the right side. So either way, we can't really... We can't use that saying. Just can't do it. Valkyrie on approach. What is the Inquisitor's status? The remainder of the squadron has escorted his craft to the outskirts of the Calchas facility. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Farewell, Captain. I must return to base. Those damned orc flyers cost me too many good men and too many gunships. We'll be hard-pressed to defend the outpost. Thank you. And good luck, Lieutenant. Where is it? The device is secure, Drogon. What are you waiting for, then? Further delay is intolerable! Inquisitor, are you all right? Yes. Come. We've no time to waste. What I find intolerable is how much more badass than me you look. I am the main character, sir. I am supposed to look the most badass, and your accessories... Your accessories and your bling are making me feel as though I'm just broke as a joke and without hope. What guns do we have over here? We have all kinds of goodies. We have a chainsword, a power axe, some ammunition for the stalker bolter and anything else we might want. There's a vengeance launcher there. I'm actually very much liking the melted gun. While it's not quite as useful as I want it to be a lot of the time, I do feel as though it gets the job done. I'm also sort of wondering if this is a good spot to break off the episode, and I think... Yeah, I think I am. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and war!